थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर शाहिद एंड जी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर शाहिद एंड डॉक्टर सलमान फॉर a uh, very a uh, fruitful session uh, you have handled it quite well although uh, we are a little bit uh, uh, short of time uh, so immediately we move towards our uh, final session uh, in which uh, we are lucky to have two uh, uh, great speakers uh, one from uh, our friendly nation hungary and uh, one from uh, united kingdom uh, i am happy to see dr uh, kovax uh, peter kovax with us uh, he is uh, with us in an expert group uh, in which uh, we have the collaboration between hungry water sector and the pakistan water sector and he is very kind enough uh, to sh uh, share his precious time with us uh, dr uh, peter kovax uh, uh, is uh, heading a section on on water resources in hungary and uh, he has been head of delegation to the international commission for the protection of the the new uh, river basin and he served as president of icpdr in 2019 uh, mr kovacs also uh, represented his country in uh, hu water director is responsible for implementation of european union water framework and floods directive uh, mr peter kovacs holds a, a doctorate degree in civil engineering uh, from the uh, leningrad technical university in st petersburg russia and he is a diploma in, in environmental protection and health from ihe delft uh, now over to uh, dr peter kovacs uh, please share his uh, knowledge with the audience Uh, thank you very much sir yes thank thank you very much for the very kind introduction i hope my voice can hear very well and uh, i yeah, at, push, at I least try, i am getting quite nice voice yes good uh, i tried to share my presentation which was was prepared for this occasion and uh, i hope we will see it soon and meanwhile i i was listening since 7 of 7 o'clock in the morning the proceeding of the of the conference and i'm really delightful that i could hear and i could see very similar problems and also also several similar options how to solve those problems can you see my slides Yes, sure, sir. Uh, we can see your presentation, but not in presentation mode. In simple. Uh... Yes. Okay. It should be in presentation mode. Not yet. Ah, uh, yeah. There is a lag. Hopefully, it will be, but not yet. Yes, I trying again. No. Ah. Uh... not yet sir uh, if you uh, unshare and then share again and share your the uh, first screen yes i trying i trying to do again so stop sharing and try sharing maybe i restarting my presentation on on my computer as well yes yeah, sure sir no problem unfortunately this technical difficulty is always always uh, a problem when we are conducting such a video meeting i prefer yes, personally yes. the personal rather than the video meetings these are the small hiccups but uh, we are able to bring together more than 150 uh, experts yes at the same is that is of the advantage of the virtual meetings that yes. we can gather experts from all over the world i also have a meeting in the afternoon dealing with transboundary water management and we starting very late because of the americans they just okay. wake up and okay. i have also a unlucky member from from uh, australia oh is <laughs> usually around 1 one, 1 one o'clock by yeah. the evening when he is we yeah. had uh, today morning one presentation from australia and then malaysia 
Yeah, I have seen them. Yeah. And now it's OK. I think uh, uh, if it moves ahead, it's fine. Uh, we are not in yes. presentation mode, but yes, if it moves you. ahead, we can it, see it. It should go. So thank you very much for the possibility to speak a little bit about my country and, and also about the Hungarian hydrology and importance of the hydrological uh, measures and, uh, and, and also the data collection and other things. As you see on the map, my country is located in the in the center of Europe in the it's so called the Carpathian Basin. So we are surrounded with high mountains, and uh, rivers are coming from this mountain and usually creating a lot of problems. As you see, we have floods which might be last very long, even up to 100 days, and also Although the country is very small, it's around 500 kilometer, the whole land. And it flood at the same time in the different part of the countries. I just, just referring back to the one of the presentation in the morning, uh, which was talking about that Pakistan is water rich or water poor country. We can also have a similar debate in Hungary because in fact, we are getting a lot of more water coming from abroad. Um, what is creating in Hungary? It's a very small portion only, and we are still releasing more water than we are receiving into the country. As Sorry, you Dr. See, P, uh, your slides are not moving. Uh, if you are on the first slide, then fine. But uh, yeah. no, if you no, are no. ahead, your yes. slides are not moving. slide is moving on my computer. So it's, I don't know what's happening, but it might uh, be also uh, an option if yeah, you're calling. Now, now we are at slide number five, now fine. Yes, it's okay. Number five. But no, I cannot see the present mode. Ah, it's okay. So you see the slide with the national water strategy, if I am right. Yes, sir. Yes, so good. So that is why we also have a very long tradition of water management in the country. And you see, this is the first engineer who organized a service, a hydrological and the water service in Hungary. So the nation, the newest national water strategy is named after this famous Hungarian engineer. What are the main problems? The climate change the abundance of the water or the lack of the water, and also the frequency of water shortages is keep increasing. We are experiencing uh, lower and lower levels in the incoming rivers. And also we have a longer and longer drought periods of time. And also the extremization is, is, uh, is a very big problem. And the flash floods are creating a lot of uh, problem in the countryside, even cities or villages flooded where it, there is no f uh, river course nearby. So, and also we have uh, increased also the consciousness over the work, uh, over the work, uh, water resources, and also uh, the image of the water management is not very good in Hungary due to different reasons. But we have a long history of hydrology. And uh, as you see, there is a very detailed discussion how this service was established. We had a, a lot of data from the past as well, but we already realized that due to the changes in the climate and others, we are not fully uh, relying on the old data sets because the new data sets are completely different than the old ones. So we are recalculating the flood levels, recalculating uh, the, the evaporation and also the precipitation patterns. We have uh, more than 1,200 online hydrographical monitoring stations in the country. They measuring surface stations, uh, groundwater, resources and also 
Meteorological service is an independent body in Hungary, Excuse but me, we have Dr. already. Peter. Yes. Uh, your slides are still not moving. We have your presentation in PDF, so we are sharing your uh, presentation, and you can yes. ask us to move ahead. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Please share, Dr. Peter's slide. Uh, you may unshare from over there. Yes. So what slide you see now? Uh, slide uh, eight. It, it was still the slide number five. Okay, so, let's so now, now we are presenting, so you can ask us to move. Yes, which which slide you are presenting now? Uh, as you say, we are at the mo five. No, slide yes, number please five. go on the next one. So as you see, I already talked about the climate change and the water or unfolding water crisis is building up and we have to take measures against those uh, phenomena. Next slide, please. So as you see, there is a longer description how the Hungarian hydrographical and telemetry system was established in the past. And I already told that we are revising all the data sets. We are not using the real uh, historical data. We are using the most modern for the forecasting and other purposes. Next slide, please. So we have a lot of stations all over the country which are monitoring surface water, groundwater, and also meteorological uh, stations are somehow included. However, they are a different body, a different organization. We have building up a very good cooperation with them. And you see, we also trying to use the modern technology. Digitalization is also one of the key uh, issue in Hungary. So we are using those remote sensing um, instruments as well, and we are using a lot of different ways of communication as well. Next slide, please. And of course, all this information is going into a big data set and also used by the, hydro, uh, by the Hungarian Hydrological Forecasting Service. And this is the body who also um, uh, forecasting the floods and uh, they are more and more successful due to the technological evolution. Next slide, please. Well, flood management is the most historical uh, part of the water management. As we are a floodplain uh, country, we had to build up a long dike system along the rivers. We have longer diking system than in Holland which is uh, also a very important factor. And uh, we also, due to the extremization of the flood, creating new uh, emergency storage reservoirs along the big rivers in the country. Next slide, please. So we had changed also our approach related with the flood management. And uh, one of the milestone was 2015, the, uh, the, the new directive from the European Union regarding the flood management. And now we are moving to the direction where we are using mostly non-structural measures to protect our people. Next slide, please. This is one of the obligation of us uh, coming from the European membership that we had to uh, elaborate a flood risk and hazard maps and also the flood risk management plan, which is has to be updated also in every six years time. Next slide, please. And of course, we need information also for those plans. And uh, on the Tisa River Basin, which is the eastern part of the country, it's shared by four countries, uh, and, and Hungary. We also developed a, a quiet modern monitoring system, which stretching out also of the country's boundary. Namely, we have operating monitoring stations in Ukraine, which is uh, uh, the upstream neighbor of the Tisa, Tisa Basin. And it's going very well. And one of the Key, key factor and the, and the key activity is the floodplain management, 
because now the flat plains are uh, occupied by the human uh, population and also with agriculture. So there is not too much room left for the rivers, in fact. Next slide, please. And uh, beyond the flood, drought is more and more important in the country and the lack of the water or water scarcity. And uh, I can tell you that the damages are economically much higher due to the drought than due to the flooding in the country. That is why our government decided to build up an uh, up-to-date drought monitoring system, which also will go on online and it will be a uh, help to the farmers as well in the field when to start to irrigate the land, when it's necessary to prepare for the irrigation and so on. Next slide, please. And uh, you see several stations already on the field. They are providing uh, very good information about the location. And we can also move all this information into the general system. Next slide, please. So we also developed the Hungarian drought index and uh, it's building up from different parameters. And uh, as I told you, it will be an online tool, not only for the water professionals, but also the, the farmers, because agriculture is a very important uh, factor in Hungary and we have to provide water for the agriculture whenever it's needed. Next slide, please. And it was mentioned already that uh, we are part of the Danube cooperation, which is the most international river basin on the world. And uh, it's also very important regarding the water resources to have a basin-wide cooperation on the use of water. And the ICPDR, the Danube uh, Commission, is coordinating the wide the basin-wide implementation of the European Water Framework Directive and also the Flood Directive. Next slide, please. And also, it might be important for the point of uh, hydrology that we also operating a transnational monitoring network, which is based on the country's monitoring, but it's also very important that it's covering the whole Danube Basin. and. Uh, it uh, gives us a reliable information for forecasting in the case of uh, any kind of accident and so on. You can see more information on the website of the ICPDR on that uh, topic. Next slide, please. So as I, as I already mentioned, the ICPDR is coordinating the river basin management plans on the whole basin, flood risk management plan. And also we developed a joint climate change adaptation strategy for the whole basin. It's also very important to have such a tools in the future. And lastly, next slide please. I would like to also uh, mention the UNEC Water Convention, which is became a global convention. And uh, I was chairing this convention as well for a while. And it's working also on very important and interesting topics at this moment. So we are working on a handbook on water allocation in transboundary contact. It might be very interesting for many countries sharing their water resources with their neighbors. So a lot of, a lot of work is going on. And I know that your experts also participating in that works. And finally, I just want to emphasize that listening to the to the conference proceeding today i strongly believe that we have many information and knowledge to share with each other because we are facing basically with those problems which are globally the problems and also the problems both from pakistan and uh, both from hungary as well so thank you very much I just want to close my presentation with a nice picture of one of the famous bridge and you cannot see, but uh, next to the bridge, there is the Ministry of Interior and I working 
and this is a water uh, gog station also nice. implemented on the on the Danube bank which is also still nowadays providing information for us okay. so i think the hydrology and the, and the water management has a lot of uh, interest to to develop and we are hoping that our common uh, or joint expert group will have also a possibility in to organize a similar webinars at this moment and later on a similar face-to-face -face meetings either in Pakistan, either in Hungary. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kovacs, uh, for your nice presentation. Sorry for the technical problems. No, so, uh, sorry from our side because we are the host. So technical uh, yes, problem. but at least the voice was good and yeah, we, solved, we solved the problem. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, sir. And uh, yes, we can learn a lot from Hungary, especially in respect of her transboundary water resource sharing, because you are sharing a basin which is shared by 18 countries. And yes. we are sharing a basin which is shared by four countries. And uh, <laughs> we also have a treaty and we want to improve it further uh, with caution. So we, we have to learn a lot from you people and uh, and something hopefully you can also get from uh, this basin also. Uh, I am once again thankful to you for your time uh, sharing with us.